Okay. Larave guitars. Why you need one, why you should own one, why you should play one, try it out. I am David. This is Acoustic Music and Things. Welcome back. Thank you for checking it out. I picked this guitar up probably eight, nine months ago. Never really heard of Larave guitars before. I can't say that because I heard them in passing. Just the name. Um, seen maybe one or two. Always thought they were just boutique guitars. You know, some super special builder, which they are. But never really gave them a second thought because I figured they were super expensive. Would never buy them. Um, they're really not. I mean, kind of in the same vein as, you know, Martin, Gibson, Taylor. Your big three. I throw Guild in that mix, too. Some of the best guitars I've ever played were Guilds. Anyway, if you are looking for the Swiss Army Knife of acoustic guitars, you need to find an L-body Larivé guitar to play. Just play one. See what happens. It is a 16-inch lower bout. So a little bit larger than your typical dreadnought. Um, it is, however, the same width as a mini jumbo. So think of your Gibson J185. Um, I want to say that the Taylor Grand Pacific is the exact same lower bout. Now, also, the Grand Pacific body shape is almost identical to this. Kind of that mix between mini jumbo, slope shoulder dread. Um, and I think John Larave designed this because it actually is closer to a classical guitar body shape. And that's what he cut his teeth on making. Um, actually, funny story. Bob Taylor, when he got, I want to say it's his first order for guitars. He ran out of a part. Don't remember which one it is. But John Larave sent him those exact parts. So all in all, if there was not a Larave guitar company, there would have never have been a Taylor guitar company. Um, I want to play a couple of things. This guitar I actually keep in dadgad tuning just because it rings like a bell. It's a little bit older, being a somewhat 90s. I don't remember what part of the 90s, but it's a 90s. Um, you know, Setka top, rosewood back and sides, um, ebony fretboard and bridge, just beautiful guitar. I actually am a sucker for these super tiny fret markers. I just think they look classy. They're nice. Um, anyway. Yeah, just listen to that. And the fun part about Dadgad is it's a totally different tuning, so you can take a bunch of songs that you used to play in one tuning and mess around with them. Get a different sound. Um, this is a little clip of, uh, again, Dave Matthews plays this in standard tuning, but I think it actually sounds better in Dadgad. Uh... <laughs> I mean, just all around, just a great, rings like a bell, sustained for days. And, you know, sometimes you get lucky and that's just the guitar you pick, but I've played a few other Larivés and it's just always the same. They're just amazingly built guitars. Uh, they started out in Canada, now they're made in California. Um, there's a handful of dealers here and there. Uh, there's actually one up north for me in Ludington, that now carries them, which is pretty awesome because I go up there at least once a summer. Um, even the old uh, Beatles song, uh, Norwegian Wood, sounds, I th again, I think better, played in Dadgad for a solo acoustic artist. Um, obviously, if you're playing with a band, it changes the whole dynamic. But uh, 
I mean, anything you throw at this guitar just sounds fantastic. And that's it. Get yourself, or at least do yourself a favor. Get out, try all those different guitars. Try a body shape that you would normally have said, mm, I'll pass. You know, if you're a big jumbo guitar player guy, go check out an, like an L00. You know, a little parlor. Um... Just try them all out because you can get great sounds from everything and they all have, you know, their place with music and playing acoustically. And that is such a great thing about this. It is the best part about being an acoustic musician is your strings, your pick, the body shape, the tone woods. The maker, the bracing, all those little super tiny details change so much sonically. And as always, quick breakdown, DR Sunbeams mediums, so 13 to 56. Vocal pointed right at the M50 or uh, the SM7B. Um, down here, probably out of frame is the Warm Audio 47JR running through the Studio V3 2 preamp, both going direct into the Zoom 4K 8QN camera. Um, I'm going to do zero post-processing, I hope, to 90% of these videos, just so you can get the most raw version, even though... We all know YouTube compresses. Anytime you send something over, it compresses. Um, other than that, what is the body shape of a guitar, acoustically, preferably? Eh, throw it out. Body shape even electrically. Um, what body shape guitar that you have played that surprised you so much to the point to where you said, you know what, I need one of those. I want to own that guitar. Leave in the comments section below. Again, thank you. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. Um, this is the third video that I have shot for this. And I want to keep doing it. I hope. Uh, let me know what you think. I am awful at editing and all that stuff. So I'm trying to do all these in a single shot and we'll see where this goes. Maybe I'll learn how to edit. Who knows? Anyway, hope to hear from you in the comment section and have a wonderful day. Play as much guitar as you possibly can. Thanks for tuning in.